Hi, this is Eliza with Engearment, and today I have the Bishop BMFR Telemark binding. It has a touring mode and great power transfer. Really awesome burly binding for charging. So this binding consists of a touring mode right here, which you're going to lift up and back to go into a free pivot tour, and then push down and forward to go back to lifting your heel downhill. Um, there's also the toe piece here, this part which picks the brakes up so those aren't dragging. You have your pivot point right here, which allows you to, to actually lift your heel up. And then your springs are right here, so this is what's actually going to give you that resistance when you go to turn. And then you've got your heel here, put your heel in, and then you click down to lock that binding in so your skis don't pop off. A great feature of these bindings is the adjustable spring, so you can make these stiffer or softer um, depending on your preference. So you just put your screwdriver in back here and give it a couple turns and you can adjust your binding super easily. Another great feature about these bindings is the toe piece. It is available in either 75mm or NTN, so if you don't want to get rid of your 75mm boots yet, uh, no worries, you can get a binding with the right toe piece, or if you've moved on to NTN, no worries, you can get the right ones. You just select which boot you have during your order. What's really cool is uh, if you have, say, 75mm boots and decide to go to NTN while you own these bindings, you can simply request a different toe piece. So you don't need to get an entire new set of bindings just to accommodate your boots. I found these bindings to really excel in steep terrain. On the flatter terrain, uh, the resistance is almost uh, too much in a way where it's really hard to engage the ski. Um, but once you're on steeper terrain, you can really lay into the springs and let them support you as you move downhill. And because of the torsional rigidity of these skis, there's no play. Um, they're really great for making alpine turns. And although I know as a telemark skier, maybe that's not something you want and you look for in a binding, but um, it is really helpful to be able to make some reliable alpine turns when you need to, or if you're on flatter terrain and don't want to use the effort to go all the way into a telemark stance. So really great points of these bindings. Um, as for the touring mode, when you're going back down, it does make some noise. It's kind of a clunky touring binding, um, but I had no issues with snow buildup, um, no problems going back into ski mood or into the touring mode. Um, it's very simple to use, no corks there, just kind of clunky. These bindings are super springy, which makes them really awesome in bumps. Um, with that really quick leg transfer, uh, you need something that's almost going to pull you back up so that you can make those turns really quickly and efficiently. Um, and this binding does that, so it's really awesome for making those really quick turns. Um, and I found that a really great feature of them. They're also really nice for carving just because of that, the rigidity in them. And they're just such a like big binding that's not going to break on you. So you can really put some pressure into them and get your edges in. Um, overall, I'm really happy with these bindings. Um, they've been a blast to ski on. And I'd recommend them for anyone who's just looking to charge hard.